Disney released a new trailer for Beauty and the Beast, and we're doing another brother review, man. We are tackling the new trailer for Beauty and the Beast that was released this week here on the Will West Show. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's Will. So Beauty and the Beast. I'm not gonna lie. This almost looks like just straight up like the animation, but done in live action. We got brilliant casting here. We got. Emma Watson as Belle. Um, we got Luke Evans as Gaston. We got Josh Gad as LeFou. And just everybody looks like they fit the part. And even Ian McKellen and Ewan McGregor as uh, the the candle and the clock. I forget their actual names, but they actually look pretty cool. But Andy, uh, you actually brought something up, uh, pretty interesting before we uh, you watched the trailer. Uh, go ahead and say it here. I've never watched the actual movie. He's never seen the animated movie. I I have done him a disservice by not showing him that movie. So you might actually this could actually be your Beauty and the Beast if you wanted it to be. This could be your first interpretation of it. And then you watch the animated and go, oh, the live action did it better. Uh, but you, what are your thoughts on the trailer? I, I liked the really intense scenes at the beginning. Like when before the beast is revealed and all the creepiness yeah, in the castle. Yeah, like how um, the dad got kidnapped out of like nowhere. Right, right. Yeah, and then when the beast like just straight up uh, chucks. No, no, he ran, runs into a wolf and it just goes flying. That was amazing. Yeah, that beast is uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, yeah, that beast is pretty cool looking. I mean, it does look a little bit more child friendly. The animated version was a bit scarier like, when they were hiding it and whatnot. But not, not gonna lie, I mean, they want they want younger viewers like you and Daniel even. Uh, where is that kid? I don't know where he's at. But they, they want him to be more appealing for the younger crowd so he's not scaring them and so parents don't complain. So I, I get that uh, aspect. And even some of the music that they were playing, like they're definitely hiding that because they want to have all these awesome musical numbers. But like we see like at least split seconds of like I think Be Our Guest, um, the Gaston song, and just like, uh, Taylor is the best time. Uh, but if only we had another opinion on the Beast. Uh, I wish Daniel were here so he could tell us what he thought about the Beast. Daniel, you weren't supposed to be at school. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to say, I think the beast looks like Rhyhorn. Bye. I just took a left turn at Albuquerque or something. That was or weird. That was really or random or and weird. Or, or a bike. Or Mario. Are you telling me our other brother has superpowers? I think so. That's sick of that so Let's get him. Uh, but anyway, Beauty and the Beast, it looks awesome. I don't rate trailers, but Andy, if you had to give this anything, if you had to give it a rating, what would you give it? Three shocking, uh, no, three flying wolves out of four. Three flying wolves. That's actually pretty clever. I'm not going to lie, Andy. Uh, but that's about it from us, guys. Those are our thoughts. Uh, when there's a will, there's a way. And when there's Andy, there is Candy. Here on the Will Show.